ነበር ሐራሽ ነዝ ሲሚ ኢዝስ former two time UFC middleweight champion David Adesanya your uncrowned 145 pound champion here with former two time Shalom call hello yahwa bahashem yahwa shai bahashem rakakodash let's give our praise to the most high name is only begotten son in the name of the holy spirit my name is Ibar from the prophets in Babylon camp down here in Tampa Florida and I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone who taught us his truth and truth and sincerity peace and salutations to the hopeful like scattered abroad UFC middleweight champion and real quick um well, and shout out to the 144,000 but real quick I want to touch on this video of um Israel um Adesario or however you say his name this individual right here he's a UFC fighter and his last fight he did terrible man he did terrible he got his ass beat I ain't gonna say he got his ass beat but, but he did not win you know he, he did not perform very great you know he pretty much probably hardly even got a punch off um and it was like he was kind of scared if you watched the fight it was like he was kind of scared and the, and the individual he was fighting was like you know was pretty much mocking him in in in, in the end okay but you see why all right you see why and, oh and the last stop it i'll play it back david adesonia your uncrowned the guy got his fingernails polished man okay he has his finger snail nails polished and this is why he lost the fight okay this is why it, uh, it, uh israel al-asali uh, whatever his last name is i mean i don't, I don't really care for, for these individuals all right but he he lost the fight because he is um he's, he's going completely off man for a gr no grown man should be painting their fingernails and he got white tips and shit like come on like th th this shit is weird man you know you know this is what happens when jake go into that industry man you know i, I wouldn't doubt he's cross-dressing you know let's go here this is you know he, he about to tell you how you feel about the fight which don't i give a fuck okay i don't i don't care how you feel especially after you are you out here wearing you know fingernail polish and this is why he lost the fight man and you see him he, he over there running he will he 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 looked uh he looked you know um he, he he well i did a video about emasculate he looked emasculated man you know he you know he he he, he couldn't stand toe to toe with this man all right and you could tell that this individual i'm not sure who he is i forgot his name something porter um but you could tell that he comes from a different background you know and this guy um iggy I, uh, izzy as they call him he's going out there with nail polish on and boxing in the ring for what what what's the point of this it's because these individuals have been completely um destroyed man you know and this is also for you know that to to to, to be able to have that position that he's in in the first place they gotta they gotta worship those elites okay let me grab this too man okay because when you go into to that world um <clears throat> you know and you on the headlines and, and you got a household name like a lot of people know, know, know this individual for for his fighting or whatever you know and, and, and they call him the style bender and i've seen him fight before and he you know he, he's a pretty good fighter but in his last fight that he, that he fought in he, he, he just wasn't it, it wasn't right you could tell that he was just he, he even said it it was like a dream when you fight and you have noodle arms you know, you know how you in a dream you try to punch somebody and, and the punches are um super weak okay um and he was saying that, that that's kind of how, how how it was and, and and you could see that in the fight it was like no matter how much he would punch or kick this guy it wasn't hurting him you know and that's because you have an effeminate spirit on you okay he he he, he, he has an, a weak effeminate spirit man okay and that spirit is is causing him to you know not have as much power as he had you know this is a sin he and he's an israelite you know, but he has no business doing this, man. So let's grab a few scriptures, touching on this topic, because you know these individuals that they they get in, in, into that that world or these industries where they're making all this money and they're on TV, they have to sell out to Satan. Okay, they have to sell out to Satan, and the part of selling out to Satan is that they have to do shit like this, you know, push you know perverse ways and uh, 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 onto their their followers, their fans. All right pushing pushing these different agendas all right um i'm looking for a particular scripture salakia um let me see i'm gonna go here let's go here 
Let's go here. Salakia. <clears throat> this is um this is first Timothy chapter six verse let's go to verse three. It says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Yahweh Shahim Mashiach, and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, he is proud, knowing nothing. But doteth about questions and strifes of words, whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, evil sermonings, the perverse dispute, disputings of men of corrupt minds and destitute of the truth, supposing that gain is godliness from such withdraw thyself. OK, because these individuals, they think that just because they get, get getting, you know, these belts or these money and what they think that 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 makes them, you know, on a higher level, which really it, it doesn't. You know, and, and and in fact, the rituals that they have to do, stuff like this right here, shows you that, you know, it's really bringing you on a lower level. You know, it says, um, at, at, at least in the spirit, maybe in this world, but the Lord scripture says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. It says, but godliness with contentment is great gain. And we brought for we brought nothing into this world. And it is certain we can carry nothing out. Having food and raiment, let us therewith be content. But they that will be rich fall into temptation and a snare. So these people, these jakes that get rich, you know, that, that, that they get these positions in this world, they fall into temptations and snares. You know, like I said, this guy might, 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 might be cross-dressing behind the scenes, man. You know, what will, you know, uh, influence a full-grown fucking man to go get his nails polished? You see, he got his, his face shaved, you know, which a age like men supposed to have a beard on their face. It says... And it's a many foolish and hurtful lust. So look, how you how you know this guy ain't taking it up the back door now? You polishing your nails, you might as well go all the way. And, and who says he ain't going all the way? Ain't no telling what these individuals are doing. Okay? The Lord said, fall into many foolish and hurtful lusts, which drown men in destruction and perdition. Right. And this is why these these guys are getting destroyed. They're all drugged up. They, you know, they, 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 they wearing dark shades and. You know, in and out of the hospital and stuff because what you you are you are you are being destroyed, okay? Would, would they say more money, more problems? And imagine fighting a guy in the ring and this guy's fucking scratching you with, with his damn nails, some so some painted nails at that. It says, for the love of money is the root of all evil, which while some coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows, right? So that's and that's what which what, 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 what you've seen in these individuals. Okay, they love that money, so so they'll do anything to keep that money. All right, including pushing this, you know, uh, this wicked, you know, lifestyle to their followers, to their fans. It says, "But thou, O man of God, flee these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faith, love, patience, and meekness. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold on eternal life. We ain't fighting no damn." Ain't no damn UFC rings for no, you know, plastic belt. We fighting the, the, the fight of faith, okay? We're fighting the fight of faith for your whole boss and all shy. It says, lay hold on eternal life whereunto thou art also called and have professed a good profession before many witnesses. And that's all you that, that are watching, you know, that are listening and, 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 and being taught, you know? Let's go here. Uh, let me go. Let's grab this. Because this is something that w that uh, women do. They, they paint their nails. And if you notice a woman, how excited she gets and how, you know, e effeminate she starts to, she, she acts when she has her nails painted, when she gets her nails done. These women love to get their nails done. So you have to be a full grown man and be getting your nails done. There's some um there there there's some perverse shit going on. Deuteronomy chapter 22 verse 5: The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, for all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord Yahweh Shai. And uh that that, that that that's what it says. Is he is an abomination? That's why the Lord didn't allow him to win. The Lord had him in that ring. He was look he he it like he was ready for for the fight to be over. Okay. You throwing these punches and they like and they they are like you know baby punches and it wasn't even you know doing nothing to this guy. It was like this guy was made out of steel, and you know I was watching the fight, but I didn't even notice you know his damn hands like like that. But this is why, <laughs> you know, this is why I saw the fight. I didn't see it when it was 
plan. I saw it, you know, the highlights on YouTube. And this guy was just, you know, it, 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 it was really a waste of time. To lock you, but it was a waste of time, man. And um, in the end, the individual that he was fighting went to beating his chest, like, "Come on, come on!" Like, nigga, I expect, I expected more, you know, I expected more from you. And this guy's is renowned as a great fighter, you know. But and and you know, so see the painted them damn nails, not so much. And he gave this man a title belt, you know. He lost a title belt out there with his damn nail polish. Which, you know, this shit is rigged, you know, may, may, maybe, you know, who knows, man, okay, maybe he had to give that title belt up, but it's also, you know, to a certain degree rate that these individuals are wearing these, um, the, 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 paint, paint, painting their nails and stuff, man, and I don't know what's going on with dude, I don't know what he got going on, but I know this is some gay shit, and more than likely, if you're doing this type of behavior, then you're doing worse behavior. You don't you're, you're doing worse things, okay? Romans chapter uh, one, verse twenty-six, uh, verse twenty-five. It says, "Who changed the truth of the Most High into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the Creator, who is blessed forever, Amen." For this cause, the Most High gave them up unto vile affections. You you you've been given up to a vile affection. It says, so like it says, um, gave them up unto vile affections, for their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. For, so like, for even their women did change the natural use to that, to that which is against nature. Not women thinking they men, you know, walking around with you know baggy pants on and you know dildos in their pants. Come on, you know, cucumbers in their pants, hold, holding their junk like they a dude. You know, I hear laying down with other women. It says, and likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of a woman. And, I, you know, I ain't never seen this guy out in a woman. Now that I think about it. Leaving the natural use of a woman um, burned in their lust one toward another. And he's always with a bunch of Edomites. And, you know, I got, like I said, like I showed you, I got him on a Snapchat. And and every time I, you know, I watch his, his little videos or whatever, he always with a bunch of fucking Edomites, bro. Okay. They be, they, be, they be lounging around on the couch, you know, watching fights. So, you know, telling what, what's going on behind the scenes. It says, for this cause, the most I gave them up into vile affections for even the woman. So lucky. Did change the natural use and so that was against nature. And likewise, also the men leaving the natural use of the woman burned in their lust one toward another. Men with men working that which is unseemly and receiving in themselves that recompense of the error which was me in a in this situation he got his he, he he lost he lost the title belt for for the and that was a recompense of his error okay let me see right a recompense of his error which was me you know not now, now we know these things can you know these recompenses are worse it ultimately leads up to destruction but him going in that ring like that you know he was recompensed you know a L on his record, you know, a loss on his record. It says, and even as they did not like to retain the Most High in their knowledge, the Most High gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. This ain't convenient for you. What the hell are you doing out there? Being the trauma, talking about you a UFC fighter and painting your fucking nails, okay? The Lord gave, gave these guys up to a reprobate mind, and now they're doing now they're doing reprobate shit, okay? And have no idea, and they're completely void of judgment. They don't realize he doesn't know that there's going to be a consequence for all this, man. You know, this nigga up there putting on chapstick with nail polish on, like looking all suspect. All right. It says, who knowing the judgment of the Most High, verse, verse 32, that they which commit such things are worthy of death, not only do the same, but they but have pleasure in them that do them. So you, you know, say he ain't a homo, a, a damn mo. He obviously got pleasure in those that, 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 that are mo's. He's taking a part of some of their customs, painting his nails. You know, but I wouldn't doubt it that that he is, man. A lot of these individuals that you see on TV, they had to do some sick shit to get to where they at, man. It ain't about talent. It ain't about, you know, how how, how good you are. No, it's about um how good you bow down, you know, how good you can serve uh, Satan and, and, and how good you can be used to destroy the masses. You see, this nigga on there talking about how, how he feel. Fuck how you feel. You lost the fight, nigga. 
and, and, and then you got the nerve to have your nails painted. We don't, we don't want to hear shit from you no more, man. I ain't know. I probably never watch another one of these guys fight. This guy fight, fight fights again, man. You know what's crazy is I'll be doing a little sports betting thing here and there, and I almost betted on this nigga, man. <laughs> the spirit told me that nah, 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 don't bet, don't bet on that nigga. You know, and I, and, and here, boom. Thus you see why. Goddamn punk, man. This world has been completely consumed and filled with punks. So with that being said, I'm gonna say shalom, Kwame Sharala of Baba Bar, praise, blessings, be edifying to the whole full length. Shalom.